Now, last night's Coronation Street has been called one of the soap's most emotional episodes mm. ever as the factory disaster claimed the life of practice nurse Rana. Well, before we chat to actress Bhavna Limbacher about what life has in store after Weatherfield, let's take a look back at Rana's story on the cobbles. We're going to get in there and get you two married. You ready? <sighs> no matter what I've done, I still have feelings for you. Sorry you got caught. This isn't you, Rama. It is, Mum. For the first time in my life, I feel right. Will, Will you, you marry me? <laughs> you should make a brilliant mum, as well as a brilliant wife. I don't want a baby. I've got to go. I love you. I just want you to know that everything's OK, and that I love you. It's going to be OK. <laughs> Tell her I don't care about this. <laughs> Bavna joins us uh, now and and actually I mean there's been a massive reaction to this which we'll yeah. come to in just a moment but um because the first thing I when I, I watched that and thought oh my god when did you know when did you know that was going to happen to you without realizing your choice yes it was um when I decided to leave the show I wanted to um have a meeting with the producers at the time it was Kate Oates who was doing the handover with Ian McLeod and um I wanted to become go into the meeting with a solution to ask how she would leave the show. Why did and, you want to leave? Um, I think I would... Uh, it, it's hands down the nicest place I've ever worked and I was getting comfortable there. And I would stay forever. So this was the only time before I had more responsibility to take a few risks. So that's why I decided to leave. But the thing it's is that you could, you could have left um, and, um, and then come back at a later time, which many people do, yeah. but you wanted, to, you wanted them to Yeah, I was you. trying to come up with um, reasons to why Rana would leave Kate, but they have fought so hard to be together and I was racking my brain for weeks trying to think of, come up with a reason. Mm. And the truth is, she would never leave Kate. Um, I believe their love is so pure and they fought so hard to be together. The only way they could be apart is if the decision was taken out of their hands. Which is what it was last night. And it was yeah. absolutely heartbreaking scenes. You joined in 2016 and when you see all that footage together, how much she's changed as a person. So surreal, yeah. She came onto the cobbles as this vivacious party girl who was a complete man-eater. Um, quickly got with Zidane and, and got married, but then realised that she didn't really know who she was. It was all a front, the mm. big hair, the fur coats. Um, but then when she met uh, Kate and formed a friendship, she realised that she, she was actually in love with her. Mm. And she really discovered and came to her own and, and discovered who she was and her sexuality. And I would have thought that those scenes, obviously knowing that that was it and you were going to leave, um, but she was seriously checking out underneath the factory roof. Um, yeah. that, that quite hard to do. Oh, they were, they were quite intense and quite difficult. Probably the most challenging um, time in my career. Um, I filmed Under Rubble for about a week. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, it was full on. But the cast and crew and the director, Brett Fallis, was just amazing. They made it as, as easy as possible. Um, but yeah, it was, it was quite interesting. I was um, put on a board every day with wheels on and they, bought, and they wheeled me in and out of the rubble every day. So that was quite interesting. And you were only allowed to stay in all that dust for about an hour before they had to bring um, you out. Yeah, sometimes we'd, we'd have to stay there longer because they'd set the shot up. So we had goggles and masks to protect us from the dust, but it was a good challenge. Um, the phone call um, between the two of them, normally when you'd film something like that, you'd do your bit and then she'd do her bit at a later yeah. date. But this was actually in, in real time. Yeah, we, we wanted to... Uh, make it as truthful and authentic as possible. So um, when Faye and Imran, uh, Charlie, who plays Imran, um, were doing all their phone calls, I was on set, um, it, hidden away in a room, and we did the phone calls in real, real time and vice versa. So when um, I was in, in the factory um, under all the... Because a lot of my scenes were all on the phone, so um, Kate came, Faye came in to read in with me, so that really helps. Yeah. It helped a lot. So... As we said at the beginning, I mean, it has had a massive reaction. Yeah, it has. Um, and uh, many people very sad. Yeah. But um, the, the LGBTQ plus 
community uh, equally very upset. Danny on Twitter, yet another LGBT character killed off. When are you going to learn that there are other ways to tell a story? Rebecca said, Rana had two successful weddings to a man, then she dies on her wedding day to a woman. I can't comprehend it. Jamie says, the gays and lesbians are never allowed a happy ending, are they? Claudia said, lesbians and bi women in fiction dying the moment they're happy with a woman is toxic. And so they, they, they yeah. have taken that very seriously, that this was a... A, an important character, um, an inclusive character, and then suddenly they've almost been robbed of that. Yeah, I think that my decision to leave and, and be killed off was never it was was never meant to uh, offend the LGBTQ plus community. Um, it was it was made with the same way I've tried to portray the character throughout the years, and that's with truth and integrity. And my decision to leave and have her killed off uh, was made with with the decision of two people being in love and their love being pure, regardless of their age, their mm -hmm. gender, their sexuality, their, their religion. So it was never there, the, the intention was never to offend the LGBT community. It was purely for two people being in love. I guess it was a, a modern day Romeo and Juliet, but with Julia and Juliet love story. Yeah. The, um, the question is now, who done it? I mean, we saw the yes. sort of shadowy figure on top of the roof, so we know that something's been meddled with there. Um, the fallout from this, I guess, is going to be huge. Isn't it, it is. I think a lot of people will be spiraling down a very dark uh, hole. <laughs> well, Carla, um, for one. Yeah. I mean, how is she going to cope? Well, because essentially, this is her this sort of sister in law. Sister's yeah, it was her sister's fiance. And she, I think she'll be ridden with guilt. Um, there are so many people in the lineup of who've done it. It could be Robert, because he's got a vendetta against Carla. He blames her for his breakup with Michelle. Could be Gary, because he needs the work. It could be Nick because he wants to get out of the factory and concentrate on the other business he's set up with David. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. No. It's going to escalate quite a lot. And what about you? So that's all happening on the on the street, um, and um, and you know, sort of obviously now, uh, you know, Kate's got to find love or stitch things back together again yeah. and get her head together. What about you? What are you going to do? I'm just excited to see what the future holds. Um, I've I've spent two years. Well, a good part of tea is crying on screen. Um, so I've, I've loved to do some more comedy and, and do some more drama. I think drama is at its best and I'm so proud of the drama that we do create in this country. So I'm really excited to see um, how, how it all goes and um, I'm looking forward to getting my teeth into something meaty. <laughs> well, when you do, will you come back here and tell us all about Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Killing Eve? Oh, Killing Eve is my ultimate dream. Um, is it? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge is just a fantastic writer and I'd love to play such a strong character. And I've, I've had so many great opportunities on um, Coronation Street and they've trusted me with so many big storylines. So I'm ready to get my season into something definitely. Well, good luck. Yeah, and when you've got that, that, come back and see us again. I will. Thank All you right. so much. Lovely to see you. Thank you.